Welcome everybody to my first playthrough ever of Remedies Control. We played Alan Wake 1, we played the DLCs, I haven't played American Nightmare, and we played Alan Wake 2, which was my favorite game of last year. Everybody was asking and recommending Control for me when I was playing those Alan Wake games, so now I have a gap. Let's hop in. Movement is critical to avoid sustaining damage in combat. Standing still is not advisable. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna- Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. This is trippy. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that oh. I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we're all transfixed. Flashbang. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. Achoo. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Okay, I see uh, Remedy really likes to start games with a very trippy and cryptic start. In general. Woo. Oh wow, she just runs up that chair. <laughs> Alright, we are in the FBC- what? Some funky stuff is going on. <laughs> so we're in the FBC. I already heard that name a lot during my playthrough of Alan Wake. Um, they had these nursery rhyme tests going on. Security check. Oh, beep beep. Prohibited items. Oh, what is this? My, my inventory? Loadout assets. You do not have any materials. Missions. You do not have any board countermeasures. You do not have any missions. Collectibles. Research and records. Correspondence. Uh, FBC. Reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated... Necessitated... <laughs> an issued reminder on primitive materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices. Anything smart. <laughs> <laughs> Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representation. <laughs> Sorry, anything smart. Um, representation of an archetypal concept, e.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. Why? All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the pri private entrance. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify you supervisor immediately. Anything smart. I love that. Also, we're so happy to see Ati. I love Ati. Okay, there's no quick turn. 
Do I have a flashlight? Nope. I like how she literally just climbs on everything without jumping. You just like walk up to it and she's like, yep, I'm, I'm walking up there. I do the captain move and I just run up chairs. <laughs> it's gonna be a great adventure. Oh, I'm excited for it. He looks, looks familiar. Oh yeah, it's this darling guy. He was on, on books in the in Alan Wake 2 as well. Doctor Doctor Darling or something? This one seems open. There's cameras. Am I being filmed? Our bureau at work. That's definitely Adi. That's that's so Adi. Who are you? Director Zakarian Tr Tre Ze Zechariah. Zechariah Trench. I don't know which way to go first. Let's walk in this th this way. Oh, we can run! Ooh. We have TVs again! This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Okay. This looks like this might be a puzzle. <laughs> what are these? Uh, expenditure summary? Sector Q2? Executive sector Q2. Staffing, surveillance, redacted, data center, initiative, construction, redacted, redacted, minor. Office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted mold removal, HQ livability costs for cost breakdown spreadsheet. See page five for five year comparison chart. See page nine. Okay. Can I move over to unread? Hmm. Okay. Okay, maybe I don't have to do anything here yet. We'll see about it. I think the doors just close on themselves. Let's go this way first. Oh man, this freaks me out that these doors is open before I even get close to them. Do we have a light? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, this place is dark. Federal Bureau of Control. <gasps> All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Oh, there's a glass in front of it, right? I thought maybe I can crouch down and roll under, but it doesn't look like it. Wow, she moves fast, so... I have the urge to break all the glass in here. <laughs> is that normal? Guess I played too much The Last of Us. How big is this place? These statues. Potato chips, pretzels, crackers, something mix. Hot and spicy. Ooh. Ooh, recorders. This place is huge, guys. Security order. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol shoot to kill. Good luck. Wow, okay. So, the first impression that you get is FBC is shady as fuck. I mean, everything is redacted. Everything is redacted. Even stuff that makes on f Hello? Hey, excuse me. I'm your biggest fan. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no helmet. There be work for the axe. 
take them behind the sauna, you hollowed. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Welcome to the Auntie the janitor house. is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Could he just hear my, my thoughts for a second there? Bergele. <laughs> oh my god, I loved him so much in Ellen Wake 2. And it's so nice to see him again. He was one of my favorites in there. God, this place is dark. Artie, could you make some light? Do you have like a angel lamp or something? Ding! Okay, he just sent me back here. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I will help. Nope. Courtney Hope. Is that the actress for the... Uh, for the protagonist? Ooh. Man, you have to say, Remedy really has a talent for making things very cinematic. Like all these cutscenes and stuff, everything looks like it's a movie. And then you play some parts, but then it's back to movie. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is crazy gorgeous. Are these things floating? Sam Lake? Story- wait a minute. St story by Sam- hang on a minute. Did it say story by Sam Lake? Did I read this correctly? Control. Yup. Hang on a minute, really? <laughs> the story- Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh, guys, I'm excited. <laughs> We're starting from office. the top. Okay, am I working my way through this building or? Can I turn off these alarms? Please? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I just did. She must be stronger than she looks. I mean, she can just move things around. Federal Bureau of Control reminder dafting any public facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrase to use in the service of his, her country, regret, proud pride will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apology, sorry. Okay. <laughs> This is getting more and more shady. <laughs> oh, here maybe? Internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect, multiple containment breaches detected, multiple building sh shifts detected, head of research override, HRA protocol activated. I have no idea what's going on and I hope I will be able to understand. Clearance level one. Push down to unlock. Okay, I think I need a card or something. Probably. Avoid Alaska. Yeah, we're gonna avoid Alaska. Okay. Trench, do not disturb. FBC, Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of this week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one, Trench. <gasps> Is that Barbara Jagger? I don't know how intertwined these games actually are. Investigate the noise in the director's office. Uh-oh. That was a loud bonk. Central executive, okay. Am I just going in there? Maybe I should go to the other areas first where I couldn't go in. Here. I think I missed this room. Gosh, this is dark. 
like pitch black dark. Okay, I don't think there's anything else, so let's go. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Toggle my oh my so god. Pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Yep, I see why you guys were not a big fan of the map. Yep, yep, I, I, I see it now. So, I'm here. We need to go to this big... Oh god, there's so many question marks. Welcome to the oldest house. Investigate the noise in the director's office. So we're in here. She said something about picking up the murder weapon. Oh, now I see that there's a dead guy. Ooh, this effect. This is always trying to point you to something. This, like... Do you see this? Ooh, how are they called? These little things that you look through and then it's warping the, the sight that you have? Okay, let's check it out. Oh, wow, that's a nice gun. Hello. Hi. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. It's his voice. It's Ellen's voice. Service weapon. This is a ritual challenge. You must choose to be the chosen one. Oh, look at this place. Where Yo, what? I? What? <laughs> Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. The what? <laughs> what? What is going? Oh, you can- oh, you can change the shoulder, okay? Whoop, 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 whoop. He- uh, um, uh, Dr. Darling had the same voice actor as Alan. I'm a bit confused now. Yo... Bubblegum Patrol, what? Concepts are too to see in your minds. <laughs> Please, please don't die on me, girl. Oh. Melee. Melee? <laughs> what are you? Why are your arms so long? What's with your neck? Why do you why are you like this? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> oh, I want the I want the gun. Give me the gun. The Give me the loot. Gun. <laughs> it it opened up. Why did the gun open up like this? Okay. What the heck? Now I have a gun. Fire service weapon? Why is it wobbling like this? Do you see that? Is it gonna fall apart any second now? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Do the bullets recharge? Oh, that's awesome! So I don't have to worry about um, ammunition. I just need to wait a little bit. That's cool, I like that. Also, are these little orbs that I can pick up or something? No. Oh, guys, I'm liking this so far. Let me shoot things. Oh, I want to see if headshots do more damage. But you, you look weird, mate. Oh. Ooh, she punching hard. Why? What? <laughs> they're, 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 they're weird. Look, they're, they're losing their, their necks, and then they're, when you shoot them, they look like normal humans again. I honestly have no idea what's going on here, but okay. 
I'm, I'm digging in. Wait, are you shooting back? Oh, <gasps> he has a weapon! Not on my watch, mate. I want to shoot more. That's fun. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. Of the noise? And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. <laughs> happy to be here. <laughs> Maybe something is wrong with you. I mean, Things I'm not judging, but... Outside. Is it safe to go? She's like listing lots of crazy trippy things the pyramid is talking i understood every word the gun is alive the guy is dead i'm happy to be here i'm happy to be alive okay <laughs> can we talk about that for a minute <laughs> what the heck but that the voice actor that we just heard there from trench that's the alex casey voice actor and that's the one that died recently right yo yo what What is what? You can't let this happen. 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 What? You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. horror. with your face it's all orange and it's glowing enemies drop health elements when damaged collect health elements to restore health oh these bubbles you can't collect them noise i knew it i saw these little orbs and i was like yep that's gonna be loot okay proceed further into the bureau i guess i need some kind of card I'm surprised I couldn't pick anything from, from him. He as the executive guy should have some kind of card on him, right? It's for me to be able to go into doors. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so we have a map. Let's see. I am here. And all of this is a big old mess. Ooh, ooh, you can run, ooh, this is nice. You can run around while you're on the map. That's gonna be helpful. I can just like, whoop, 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 whoop. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidance. Reach the hotline. Was the dead man? Okay. Oh shit! What? Oh 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 oh! is fun. Oh. Sorry, sir. My god. Oh, hang on. Whoa. Okay, and when your health is full, you can't pick up any anything anymore. Hmm. 
come on, you're totally gonna come down there and gonna attack me. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> Oh god, guys, this game is gonna be trip. Hey, that's me! I'm looking good. Oh, wow, do you see those reflections? <gasps> Yo, bruh, what? It's the room! Damn, okay. Eh, maths. Eh. <laughs> Screw maths. <laughs> Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, Follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Dum, dum, dum. Okay. I am here. Okay, I kind of want to go over there somewhere. Oh god, I hear more warby warby sounds. Oh, there's more. Look. Don't let mold hit your ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. Okay. Dinner reservations. <laughs> um, dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Why does a person need a reminder how old his wife is becoming? Do they exchange real people with fake people and then they need to get a setting so they can play their role nicely or something? I mean, I'm just spitballing ideas here. I don't know what's going on. Don't spoil anything for me, please, guys. I don't I don't want to I'm just speaking out loud so you guys can follow my my thoughts. Oh boy. Shelter. Max occupancy six persons. Watch your step. Marshall AWE investigation. Oh boy. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Duluth? Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunction clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find better a way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Service weapon, containment procedure, no unique procedures required, description. The object's form is variable. Variable? When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to redact it. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of <laughs> The object will determine whether <laughs> if rejected, the applicant is terminated. Oh, so Trench tried to use it and then he got terminated by the gun itself? This process is dictated by the hmm <laughs> though their criteria is unknown background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular mm -hmm. hypothesis, hmm <laughs> many forms throughout history, hmm <laughs> hmm Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varunastra, all weapons that hmm hmm <laughs> of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of this of that event. If this is the case, <laughs> is this some kind of godly weapon? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> so much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. They mentioned Mjolnir. I'm very happy about this. Shit, what am I doing? What am I... Undefined reading? Personal mods. 
empty slot uh energy recovery energy recovery speed equip oh i can i can change my my gun Ooh. We don't know because it's <laughs> <laughs> energy's ammo, yeah. Ooh, energy recovery sounds good. So I need to have a an eye open for these kind of things, right? I don't want to be locked in here. No, no, no. There are a lot of upgrades. Nice. Oh god, all this talking. S stop it. Shush. Shush. Okay. Yeah, this is the next place I wanted to go. So, I like the kid that you can run around with your map open, central executive. Oh god, there's a hissing the sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss, the hissing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Our? That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Visitor evaluations. Federal Bureau of Control reminder: Defting any public-facing material while pending any notifications of death related. Wait, we read we read this already. It's the same thing. Oh wait, no, there. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and our people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their response are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Nice. There's lots to read. Okay, I know what you mean now. Uh, field research on his entity. His corrupted security guard. What? Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The HIS was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards used the standard issue. Bull pup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain HIS guards are protected by a shielding of dense HIS resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is the shielding a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature an organic host over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Uh, does the his have the level of cognizance? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, does this utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to fire redacted full por for full report. Urban legends. So what I gather so far that they're the equivalent to possessed by darkness in Alan Wake is the hiss here. So these are people that have been um, possessed in a way by something and uh, it's not darkness, it's the hiss, which are these voices that they hear, we hear as well. In summary, urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Young's archetypes. We recognize certain mm -hmm, informed by our own mm -hmm, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be can even be artificially mm -hmm, in popular culture using mm -hmm, our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs, oh, what was that, guys? What was AWE? I forgot the, the full word. That only occur on mm -hmm, a pair of scissors that consume human mm -hmm, through two punctures on the mm -hmm. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Ooh. Ooh, 
watch it. Altered World event, thank you. I remember they were, that the same thing was used in um, Alan Wake 2 uh, for, for these, uh, what they were called, the nursery rhymes. Why are they floating in the air? <gasps> this looks exactly like the nursery rhyme thingies. What is going on here? Okay, there's the pyramid. How do I get down there? It's so dark, can't see shit. Can I just... Oh! Oh yeah, we can just bolt over. Oh shit, nuggets! Come on! We charge faster, girl! Oh shit. Controller aim. Oh, it's one of those bigger guys. Oh, he's like a mini boss. Ammo, ammo. Eat this! When she says, help me fix it, is she talking to me? Okay, I'm fully healed. But I picked something up and I want to know what it is. Materials. Hidden trend. You do not have a clearance level. Okay. Oh, this is even better. So we equip this one. This one is a... Or not? equipped okay unlock by upgrading yeah this one the alternative one that i have is 17 so 18 is better you will learn i, I will learn yes <laughs> no jesse's talking to me <laughs> okay 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 she's all yours <laughs> lens the control point So, okay, um, before I talk to the intercom voice, there's these bigger areas, which are kind of like little combat zones with a boss. Yeah, hang on, lady. And we have to cleanse it, and then we have to unlock it as a fast travel point. I see. That is cool. Okay. Okay. There's another shelter. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. Nope. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. You're the new director. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Hi. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. <laughs> like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. 
Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? Yeah. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? Yup. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. Me? <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... <laughs> I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions. So do I. You probably have a million more. Yeah. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, she's definitely talking to me. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Executive central- Oh, wait, there's stuff. Control points. Examination of paranatural topics, control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the <laughs> arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. These control points are discovered by <laughs> detection of an unobstructed ping using the <laughs> within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or, <laughs> or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be. Hmm. Very cryptic. Okay, cleanse the his corrupted agent. Which which one? Do I have a marker where I need to need to go? Oh, this one. Don't die. Please don't die. Did I kill you? Oh shit. I killed her. Oh, what? She just vanishes. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Oh crap. Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Uh, you're up here, okay. I just killed someone. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary. 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. 
Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? <laughs> it was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. Mm -hmm. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should <laughs> find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. Ooh. Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, cool. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. What? Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? These cutscenes, man, they're so cool. I think you already know. Of your yes, brother? I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. Okay. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. <laughs> Just this floating room in the middle of nothingness with a red telephone. It doesn't even have a dial. <laughs> Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Will do. Thanks, Emily. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I can interact with her, so I guess there will be more will be more dialogue when I when I do that now. The hotline should be in the communications department. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Okay, original of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. <laughs> Amen to that. The oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. 
which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the mm, service echo. weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. Yep, I need that I right think now. I will. Yeah. Object of power. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> okay, good. Got it. Yeah, sure, Thanks. yeah. With you there. Hadron Resonance Amplifiers. HRA. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Oh. He saw it coming. Okay. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Alright. So, could I still walk through here? I could. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Do I get another mod from my gun? Bonk. Health recovery. Energy recovery speed. Hang on. Missions? Unknown caller. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, an object of power in the form of an old telephone, to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight into the Hiss invasion. Portrait of D director Zechariah Trench. Okay, loadout. Uh, health recovery. Health recovery per element pickup plus 20. What? That's a lot. Health recovery plus 20%. So, but right now I just have one slot, so I could either have faster energy or more health, right? I think I'm gonna stick with the energy. I feel like health... So far I haven't died. And it seems like I can change it whenever I want, so maybe I'm gonna change it later when I feel like I'm in a fight and I'm just stuck like hell. Okay, the boardroom. Central executive. So my main objective is always the yellow one, so I need to go all the way up there. Oh god, this map is a mess. It is a mess. Can I go up here? Ooh. Oh man, I I have to say I was a bit scared of this whole map thing, but the fact that you can have the map open and run around like this, that is so helpful. Seriously. It's a bit like a Diablo, you know? Oh, another one? House memory material. House... Do you do not have clearance level? I don't know what all these materials are. Not clearance level, hmm. So we always have to... We always have to keep an eye out for these, um... Whatever those are. I hope I will get a... 
a light, guys. This is so dark. <laughs> Shifted bathroom complaint. <laughs> Listen, you know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. <laughs> I worked my ass off in the Islamabad s station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bathroom which just disappeared. <laughs> oh, I earned my right for good shitter. Oh, <laughs> okay, the humor is already great. Ammo refund. Uh, how do I get to the mods? Ah, here. Ammo refund chance on hit, 7%. Ooh! Okay. Are you playing this with mouse and keyboard or controller? I play with control with a controller. Yep, yep, I made this joke. It's a bad one. Ah, oh, these are the radios. And they play copyrighted music, which I muted because, you know, a creator life. And I'm honestly super grateful for Remedy to put the setting in. That's very helpful. Thanks, Remedy. Technological restrictions. Okay. <clears throat> Examination of paranatural topics. Techno technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any... <laughs> signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious I unconscious, yeah, is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural <laughs> for the oldest house to <laughs> them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become re receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the <laughs> to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the old house. Oh my god, imagine, imagine you were a guy, like, doesn't matter really but imagine you have a cell phone in your pant pocket and it kapow and you know bye uh oh <laughs> emotional damage oh there's so many places I want to go everywhere I want to go everywhere chat there's an elevator. I don't think I can open it. What the hell happened here? What's with all the post-its? <laughs> Clearance level. Ooh. <gasps> FBC. Okay, I was thinking Fallout for a second because of the color. Oh, there's one of those. Yeah, let's go. Loot! I love how everything just <laughs> explodes here. <laughs> um... Oh, it's one of those. Oh, I don't know what to do with those. I guess the game will tell me eventually. Let's go. Let's go back. Oh, this was the radio. We've been here. Okay, we made a full circle, I think. So now we can try to go... Oh, I have the zoomies. We can try to run in... Here? Seems to be just this one room, but anyways, I want to look around. I don't know if I've even been in here. Some things do look very similar. Okay. It's a bit empty, so maybe I've been here already, I don't know. Do I still have to interact with this thing, whatever it is? Okay, maybe I have to go... This way? Can I take the elevator here? Okay. Oh dear. Okay, if I go this way... It says that there... Oh god, sorry guys. It says that there's a, 
a path here somewhere. Hang on. How is that? Do you see that? That they're apparently here. This is a portal. Come on, open up. <laughs> how how do I how do I go through there? Maybe it's for later. I don't know. Aye. So I wanted to go to this little, um, you know, we have this big orb here, this big with this question marks, but I wanted to go to the the smaller circle above it. I'm I don't really know how to get to the northern part of the map now at this point. Biggest complaint about this game is the map. Yeah, everybody has been complaining about it, which made me a bit anxious. But we'll get this. Okay, maybe now. Hmm. Very peculiar. Maybe I gotta do more stuff here. Outfits? Oh! Okay, there's outfits. Okay, cool. <gasps> here! Ah, uh, so this orby kinda like the spiral thing that points you to where you actually need to go here? Oh, okay. There it is again. Our welcome message. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. Okay. Ah, rats! <laughs> I want to open all the doors. Guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good thing is more things to shoot. Nice. Hello, Jesse Faden. New director. I'm gonna direct your ass into the nothingness, into the void you go. Boom! Energy boost. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, energy plus six percent. Nah. Travel costs. Week 83 report summary. Visit the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starling Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy, Sleepy Bear <laughs> Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge, Expenditures, Accommodation, blah blah blah, Meals, blah blah, Gasoline, Minibar. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View. Ocean View Motel. That rings a bell. Do we know an Ocean View Motel? Is that from Ellen Wake? It's going to be found in a landlocked state, but the hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley, Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road. Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any place of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> I think you know the ocean view already. It, it doesn't... certainly rings a bell. Oh wow, what a massacre! Oh my god, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I got jump scared by whatever I just picked up there. Oh my, this is graphic. Hey, that's me. Whoops. You know an Ocean View Hotel, okay. Jaw-dropping content. <laughs> I have a feeling I should be going to the super creepy red line, but let's go down here first. Hello. Where, where? Oh, the shooting is fun. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bam! <laughs> oh my god, I love how how much force is behind her punch. She's like, eat this, sucker! Bam! 
Ooh. Undefined reading, okay. His barrier. The his resonance field. How, how when I just came up with the name, the his, why is the name everywhere on every little page? How's, how do they explain this? The his resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. First, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the his entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected resources, uh, sources, sorry, non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from the these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the his? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to the file hmm 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 for full report. So much cryptic stuff. Oh man, these reflections, noise. Cafeteria. Or oh, cafeteria, sorry, that's how you pronounce it. I want to go in every, every little corner and I don't know where to start. Okay, this is progress. Apparently, in this, this area. Looks like this is where we need to go. So, although I don't know if it's this floor or maybe the... Hmm. Hmm. I want to go everywhere. Can you lock yourself out of content when you when you go in the wrong area first? What the actual flying fluff is going on in this room? The heck? Havana summary. You're fine. Okay, good. Because I'm I have FOMO. I I have a big FOMO issue. I literally sometimes i'm stuck because i can't decide whether to go left or right first and i'm scared that i progress the main story and then lock myself out of side stuff so i'm, I'm a bit scared <laughs> and i'm enjoying this so far a lot so i want to i want to find everything and do everything Havana, AWE 48, event summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. <laughs> Deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal chan channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been... <laughs> staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for hmm, minutes, for vi no visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the con to, to the continental US, sorry. Uh, after formula L9 I9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file. AI85 for details. Sorry, I want to... Oh, so, oops. <laughs> Whoops. She's, she's doing the art push. <laughs> Okay, I'm losing health when I go in there, so we're not going in there. I guess I need something, so I'm able to go in there without getting hurt. Oh god, what's with the voice? Unstable area notice. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart, green stable, yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts, red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. So the building is just changing all the time? Oh. Is it like the, the stairs in, in Hogwarts and it just shifts and turns and changes the, the layout all the time? Okay, let's go in here. Dead letters. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. Okay, am I ready? I don't know. Oh, there's stuff. Hang on. Is Ati leaving those notes for us? Because there's always like janitor stuff. I mean, it literally says gen caution. Okay, never mind. I thought it says janitor. But it looks like one of those janitor's things, you know? Maybe, maybe he's guiding us a little bit. I want to believe that. I like Ati. <laughs> I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream sh showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on, this, on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. It started so seriously. And I was like, ooh, 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 what is this? What is this? And then suddenly I'm building God a body with my, with my son's skateboard. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, I'm sure it all seems very real for this person. Can't see anything, but I'm looting. Shadow projectile choke. Hang on, what? Shadow projectile choke exclusive to shatter. Okay, uh, I, don't, I don't know what we're talking about, but okay. I'm literally running in the dark. Singing fish? There is a lot to read. I hope you guys don't mind. Mr. Govern Governor? I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk for, to fix it. I got my wife, one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs, says lots of cuss words. <laughs> the devil got in my house cause of the fish and you got to come and handle it. My wife is real upset. <laughs> upset. Can when can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. <laughs> oh, Dwayne. <laughs> Mm, bless Dwayne. <laughs> Singing fish. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, this is great. I love this. My wife is real upset. I'm also really upset. Undefined reading. Oh man, I can't. I can't check this out yet. Oof. Is this combat music? I'm digging it, whatever it is. Cool! Yeah, it's combat. <laughs> Hello? Oh, what are you? Uh, oh, you have a shield, sir? Okay, hang on. We're gonna kill the little guy first. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, and this shield is recharging. What am I gonna do about this? Oh. What is this, a server room? Come on, refill, refill. Oh, I killed him! Nice! Ha -ha. You are lucky that I can teabag you. Undefined reading again. I dig the combat music. Ah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 cool. Oh, you survived. I thought you were dead. My god. Oh, that was close. I thought I killed him. I was, you know, was he a dancing and vibing to the music? <laughs> I got a bit distracted. Oops. Okay, let me, before we d open anything, let me look around if I find more of these little healing orbs, because I'm a bit low now. Okay, if I want to go through here, then I need to alter the room first. Oh, what is this? Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> 
floppy disk. Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <gasps> a cup! Dum, dum, dum. Oops. <laughs> I love how they have like such cool scenarios, but they always manage to sneak in some some goofy jokes. You know? <laughs> I like this. Now the room shifts, right? Back to its original state. So in order to unlock more of the map, I have to always clear these and then doors open like this. Communications department. Navigate through the communications department. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking this. We're on the right track. So I think I came from yeah, I came from here. I think I have to interact with this con this 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 whatever this is again to unlock the fast travel point, right? Fast travel. Okay, cool. Nice. Now we can go through here. You are here. Cool. Uh oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh, we're just running over things again. Oy, 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 what a mess. So should I? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, that looked funny. <laughs> Normatics. Who was throwing this at the guy? The fella is dead because of you. Uh oh. Object of power. Uh oh. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Okay, this is scaring me. Reach the object of power to cleanse it. Um. Um. Okay. Floppy disk is angry. Yeah, very angry. There's a shelter. Let's go in there first. I might get some good stuff. memory okay book club notes for penny by l samson so i don't usually read a lot of sci-fi but as far as space op operas go this was all right the title unless you could refer to a bunch of things in the book i guess but i thought it was a little vague and stupid the way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast the best part of the story was the space battles i sided with the fixers obviously because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me honestly if i had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who got around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a sunday i know who i'm pick who i'm picking the scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and that space dogfight between those two ace pilots sign me the fuck up <laughs> what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly his death didn't feel necessary at all well you just spoiled stuff Malaka. can't you can't you review things without spoiling stuff like that my, my man come on Page two out of five, so I guess there's gonna be more about this book review, right? Dead letters. This script, this scares me. Okay, I guess we're trying to find this, whatever this is. Oh lord, oh lord, okay, 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 I'm running. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Oh, mamma mia. Ooh. What did I ever do to you? Just launching some crazy projectiles at me like that. 
Boom! More house memory. I uh, can't interact with this yet, so ignore that. from there? No, huh? Ha! Nah, 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 nah. I don't know if this is the way I gotta go, but I'm running! I'm running! Woo! Woo! Thank God the lady has unlimited stamina, mina. Eh, eh. Waka, waka, eh. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ooh! Ah. Man, Floppy, what's wrong with you? Jesus. To gain launch telekinesis. What? Teach us to believe, director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? Oh, we back in. I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Use launch to complete the astral plane challenge. Hold RB. <gasps> what? What? Excuse me, what? I can... I can throw things around? Like that? Okay, this is this this game just got way better, and it was great already. But what? I can't throw shit around, guys. Have you seen this? Out of my way! <laughs> oh, I can't wait to use this in combat. I want to throw shit. Launch, align the cube thingamajing into the hole, hole slot to advance score. Yo, I'm a Jedi. Guys, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> Out of my way, I need to climb up here. Uh, this is cool. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Oh, I'm out of... Boom! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. My, my, my yeetometer needs to fill back up. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm reloading, I'm reloading. Bam! Oh, bye! Yeet. Oh, this is great. Guys, I'm loving this. Double hit. His noise is burying into the astral plane's secret base. You must stop mute them, director. Okay. Guys, this is this is awesome. I'm loving it. You can pick up enemies and launch them at the air friends too. <gasps> what? Okay, that's great. This is this is great. I'm loving this. The floppy disk is now bound, delivered. Ooh. The his antagonist is seeking our astral plan. Oh. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Abilities such as launch are particularly effective against something. Bonk. Shields? Was it shields? Oh. Um, anything?
Okay, this is cool. Ugh, I'm digging it. Okay, proceed through the communications department. Um, I think there's one more guy that needs killing. Doom, 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 doom. Hang on. Sir! <laughs> Why have I never played this before? This is so cool! Okay, so can I... <laughs> okay. I don't know how this got cleared now. Maybe because I killed this guy? Hmm. I got just scared by my own reflection here in the glass. I was like, oh! <laughs> Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. You Weapon mod. Weapon armor damage. Weapon armor damage. Damage against enemy armor. Plus 44%. Oh, I need more slots. <laughs> I need more slots. <laughs> it said you could crouch. Did it say how? <gasps> oh! Oh, guys. Okay. The game is on. We can teabag. Now it's official. This game is absolutely fantastic. It has all the good things. It even has a teabag. Or V Slam, however you want to say it. Chef's keys. 10 out of 10 game. Federal Bureau of Control, reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to... <laughs> so another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring <laughs> and <laughs> for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Floppy disk. Did I read this? Containment procedure must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Description. The object is an 8-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para... para para-utilitarians <laughs> to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation. The object is currently bound to <laughs> for research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in <laughs> by agents <laughs> and <laughs> with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to <laughs> missiles believed to be reserved for use against <laughs> after being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Okay. So... There's just random objects that can be kind of obs possessed in a way? Boom. Undefined reading. Yep, I can't interact with this, so I'm not gonna even bother to go into my menu for it. Baby, 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 yeah? No, okay. Ha, <laughs> ha, funny. <laughs> You know, it's peak shady when your agents even have informants inside the CIA. Oh, yeah, it's a bit... A bit sus. Okay, I don't know. Let me just look around a bit more. Now everything is being highlighted because I can throw everything around. 
What the hell happened here? Oh man. So if I understand Maybe this correctly. There's a key nearby. If I understand this correctly, there will be ooh. Lots of backtracking. This must open the door. There's like um, this entire building, but you can't access it all at once, so you have to backtrack a lot and to, if you want to go everywhere. Come on, why is there no light? Okay, I didn't know that I had a, a crouch. So maybe there's also some kind of button for light and I'm just missing it? Oh, shelter. Oh, <laughs> a bit of privacy behind those closets. Boom. Undefined reading. Uh, somebody ripped apart this card thingy. Oh. Oh yeah, radio, which is probably muted. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to go there, I know, but I'm procrastinating this right now because I would like to... health right now you're listening to America overnight mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years thank you for staying up with us ghosts we've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings voices and other fantastic <laughs> phenomena today on the show dr. Quincy Reagan tells his story Quincy thanks this is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicious Con. Suspicious I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have, body had been there a week he said oh boy Guess the smell they're sleeping with the corpse a foot below them. they only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell oh hauntings have been reported Ugh. in room 47 ever since i happily took the room i fell asleep pretty quick checking under the bed first of course no ghosts visited me no chilly spots or flickering lights but when i woke up I found myself under the bed. What? It was dark and stiflingly hot. Ew. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear <laughs> listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, we'll be right back. Night Springs. <laughs> There's something strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? <laughs> FBC. <laughs> so I got a key now from one of the dead guards, security guards, and I got something else from this dead guy now, and I should be able to open doors now. I have a clearance level one, which which makes me very happy now. You don't call FBC; it comes anyway and takes care of it. <laughs> okay. So, which was the door that I couldn't open first? I know I'm supposed to interact with this, but where's the door that I was like, oh man, I would like to go in here. Was it this one? Fuck yeah. Oh, or is this just a shortcut now? Oh, this is where I need to go. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna interact with this first. FOMO, I tell you. Hmm. 
Okay. Fast travel point, sweet. Mirror room, toggle map. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a battle arena. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ew, what? Tomasi! I read a letter of yours. Um. Ow. Oh shit. Oh. Dang it. Oh crap. <laughs> I hope it's saved. Ooh, first death, guys, first death. You, sir, are creepy and disgusting, and you are horror material. They can fly now. Great. Oh shit, there you are. He dodged. I need healing. Oh, damn. <laughs> Shit, he hits like a fish. Is there dodging? They can fly now. Where's the big guy? Tomasi! Tomasi, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but where the frick are you? Oh, I hear you, I hear you. I'm just kind of camping here right now. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just blew that into my own face for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Can I skip this? Nope. They can find Great. Oh, hello. Give me health back. God, there's always stuff in the way. No, not again. Oh, man. Okay, but this was a way better approach this time, so. You, sir, are creepy. They can fly now. Oh my god. 
Yes, I'm willing to cheese this. Come on, low ammo. There you go! Son of a gun. Second phase. I have a feeling he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, you may both, sister. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Okay, find the hotline object of power. Can I open this now? Sweet. Okay, this way I didn't have to deal uh, with the Malakas downstairs, just with him, and I still had something to block the view. And I could just cower like a coward behind some obstacles so he wouldn't hit me with his projectiles. <laughs> that, was, that was making my life way easier. Alrighty, guys, I think this might be a good moment, just after this little boss fight that we had, um, for me to get another coffee. Guys, I'm really, really, really enjoying this so far. The gameplay is very fun. The story is like a wild blur at this point. I, I don't follow too much of it. I think I get the basics right, but Remedy Classic, it's very like confusing and overwhelming at first. So I'm gonna quickly go to OD Diner and get myself a coffee. <laughs>